All right, hello everyone. In this LEGO review, we are looking at the Imperial TIE Fighter. This is the new 2021 release, retailing for 50 Canadian dollars. So, um, without further ado, let's take a look at this because um, this this also came like this with the 2021 stuff. This set also was released alongside Luke's X-Wing, so both are pretty similar to each other given the fact that they're both, you know, from the same era and they've gotten a lot of dogfights together, so I'm a little bit excited for this one. This is not a UCS up to scale TIE Fighter, it's just like your standard normal set size, and without further ado, let's, uh, lo let's look at it. Let's look at it. First and foremost, first thing I want to do is the size of this thing. I know you can kind of see this in frame, but might as well bring it on. Um, the, so I've got a bunch of other ships, other sets, just to show you the the straight up size of it. So first and foremost, here is the Razor Crest. Um, there you go. It's, it looks a little big, but the only reason the TIE Fighter looks really big is because of its wings. I think this is up to scale. I am pretty sure yeah, I'm pretty sure this is up to scale, if I think about it. So this Razor Crest and TIE Fighter, boom, there you go. And then, another show, I don't have the X-Wing yet. By the time I'm filming this video, I haven't built the X-Wing yet, so I cannot pull that out for comparison. But I did have the other stuff, such as the Slave one, 20th Anniversary Edition, not the UCS one, never had the UCS one. And, of course, the Slave 1 is a pretty big ship, so... This is about right. Um, I would think the Slave 1 is a lot bigger, but given that this isn't the UCS one, I think this is, I think this is also the right, appropriate size for it. So, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is, this is correct. So, there's that. So, that's the Slave 1. And finally... On the list, we've got, of course, we had to use it. I may not have the UCS one, but still. The Falcon. Boom. There you go. Of course, you know the Falcon is a massive ship. So, there you go. That looks just almost like it. And, uh, yeah. So, I think all these are not up to movie scale, but in terms of these set sizes, it is most definitely up to scale. So... With the main fighter itself, um, first and foremost, the first thing I gotta appreciate is the wings and how nicely it is put together. Use a bunch of bold, bold uh, sockets right here for the fold, which is a little, which is standing a little bit. Kind of wish they included like a, a flat tile piece like this to cover it all up instead of having just having them just stick out like this, but. It all, I guess it all works out, and the fact that this is darker gray kind of uh, contradicts the rest of the color scheme. Um, one of the main wings right here, got a nice printed tile piece right here. Um, the wing build, done very, very nicely. It's actually one of my favorite things about this ship. Um, the cockpit, there we go, here is the cockpit. And of course there are spring-loaded shooters at the bottom for the turret, so you just simply fire like that and there you go it's spring loaded shooters has always been a thing for Star Wars and yeah this one doesn't have any like specific trigger mechanism so you do be careful when you're picking this up try not to accidentally flick this and then fire the bullet to somewhere unknown um also we've got the just I guess this is like red light yeah I mean, yeah at the back of the TIE fighters they got these red lights so this is this is good this is accurate um, on the top, you've got the main hatch up here, which you can open up. There we go. And that's how you can stick your TIE Fighter pilot inside. You can also fold the window down if you wanted to for better accessibility. And then these are the quote-unquote levers or the flight controls for the, for the uh, pilot to maneuver the TIE Fighter with. There's no um, uh, tiles or studs on there to lock your minifigure in place. It's just a flat tile. So be a little careful because if you shake this around violently and stuff, you will rock the pilot inside all over the place. So 
is that the window piece itself I think this is reused from the Death Star final duel so I think I don't think this is a new piece but it works well so I don't see a problem with Lego reusing old pieces it's money saving it's they don't have to spend money on producing new pieces so I'm 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 for that for sure and apart from that um the ship itself feels very light, so this is good. Perfect for those kids to be picking it up and playing with. And definitely I can see this alongside, I can see some kids doing dogfights with this thing with the X-Wing or the Falcon or the other ships, whatever you want to use it with. So this is not bad at all. Um, definitely a little bit of improvements would have been the color scheme because I feel like it's a little too light. But... We'll get to more of that in the end, but still, like, mm, apart from that, it's not, it's not bad at all. Usually the inside would not look the prettiest, but in fact, the inside would look, does look pretty decent as well. So it looks great on all sides, and this is definitely one of the best versions of the Lego TIE Fighter that I've seen in quite a long time. So, not bad. So that is it for this one. Let's take a look at the minifigures. Alright, in terms of the minifigures, we've got three. I'm surprised. Usually in these kind of sets, you only get one figure, which would usually be the TIE Fighter Pilot, but doesn't look like that's the case. We've also got a Stormtrooper and a droid here that's called NIL-8. Not quite sure where I've seen the droid before. It does not look familiar to me whatsoever. It did, I think he made an appearance in the New Hope in on the Death Star or something, but definitely he's not a major character. That's what it is, because you know what he really looks like to me? He looks like that um, Ant-Man. Yeah, he's kind of giving me a little bit of Ant-Man vibes, but I feel like I've seen him before. I feel like I've seen a version of this droid, but instead of black, it is in silver. Because they had one in The Mandalorian, and I saw that recently, so... Maybe that's what's in my head. I really don't remember where this guy came from, but still, it is nice to get something out of the ordinary in a LEGO minifigure form. So this guy is okay. Definitely not my favorite in the from the three here, but he he looks he looks okay. Um, and apart from that, I don't need to take off anything to show you because that's the full figure. Here is the main figure of the set, obviously, because it's a Tie Fighter. You you're gonna need a Tie Fighter pilot. So here's the pilot with his pistol as his helmet. I think the helmet is not new, it is a reused mold. The prints are also reused. You got the nice Empire symbol right on it. Um, and then take that off. Here's his face. No angry clone face once again. Kind of uh, using the new uh, prints since the Foul First Battle Pack. So there's that. And then finally, just a random stormtrooper because why not? It's nice, it's an Empire set. So, uh, it's okay that we have another Stormtrooper. And plus, this is how you can build your army of Stormtroopers. Just by getting all these Star Wars sets that randomly include Stormtroopers, you're going to have your own Stormtrooper army easily in no time, instead of buying the same set of Stormtroopers over and over again. So, it's nothing new for this guy. The same rifle. The helmet is still new. I think the helmet is a new mold for 2020, so they continued with that for 2021. And then you take that out. Oh, here's another, here's another face. A more not so angry, not so serious, dead looking face. So, is that. So, that is the minifigures for this set. Definitely my favorite one. Actually, surprisingly enough, my favorite one here is the Stormtrooper. So, there's that. Here is the box, ladies and gentlemen. This is set 75300 with 432 pieces. <laughs> In the background of this TIE Fighter, we can see they've got the Death Star 2 uh, just flying through the brink of space. I guess it takes place during the Battle of Endor or something like that. Um, you got the figures at the bottom and then at the back of the box, boom, showing you everything else that happens in the set with the LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga game. But, apart from that, nothing too interesting going on for this $50 box. So not bad. Um, you can definitely buy these in bulk if you wanted to. And the fact that this is uh, $50, well, it is a little bit expensive to buy in bulk. But it's possible to buy in bulk. Because you're not going to be spending like a whole fortune, if you know what I'm saying. Like, you can, you can get at least up to a squadron of these if you wanted to. But... Apart from that, um, this is a pretty nice build. The, uh, the wings are done pretty well. The cockpit 
could use a little bit of work as it's a few I feel like it's a little bit um, too light you know usually the TIE fighter is a lot darker gray I feel like the color here is a little bit on the lighter side but I think that's fine um, in terms of the minifigures great selection I'm, I'm, I'm glad you, can, you get more than just the TIE fighter pilot so that's a good that's a good variety um, and apart from that that's pretty much it for this set so my final grade for this set would be a 9 out of 10 I am genuinely very happy with this TIE Fighter. It turns out it turned out really well. Um, and definitely, like I said, if you're gonna buy this in bulk, I'm pretty sure it's possible given that the price it has. So maybe a little bit cheaper would have been nice, like $40, but this is on like the $50 side, so it's a little iffy. And I if you buy like four of the four of these, it's already two hundred dollars. So like take this with a grain of salt and depending on how committed you are to to Star Wars and <laughs> wanting to do a Lego Star Wars TIE Fighter Squadron or something like that so we'll see anyways that is it for this video if you um, enjoyed this and you want to see the other Lego content I've done make sure to hit the like button and subscribe so you won't miss a new video when it comes out and if you want to see the other Lego Star Wars stuff I've got a playlist of them somewhere throughout the channel or in the end screen or the card on the top right hand corner. And that's it for this one. Talk to you in the next one. Bye for now.